my jibboo boos it's 7:47, and hell in a cell it's about to start but i was like let me play some super card and why not record it because i was just looking at something and it really boggled my mind jabronis it it like oh it it angered me this match right here in king of the ring okay hold on we're waiting on network but in a second i'm going to show you what bothers me so i clicked on here and i was like oh okay you know i, I lost two to one sometimes you know i like to see the game recap, see, you know, what kind of cards they had and whatnot. So, I've clicked on it. And here I see. They put in two common cards. But down here, they have, like, a legendary card. And then, like, I don't even know what card that is. But, let me, let me see if I can put this the brightness up a little bit. Maybe, maybe it's too bright. I don't know. But, what? That's, that's, that's cheap, man. He's got his two common cards up here, so he's going to lose these match, this match every time. But it doesn't matter he loses this, because he's going to win this match every time, and he'll win this match every time. Now I feel like it's too bright for you guys, but... Oh, I just wanted to show you that, because that just boggles my mind right now. Because I just entered King of the Ring, and I don't know if you can see, but I just, just entered into the epic category. Like, it's not even filled up yet. Not even a tiny bit. So, my hope... <laughs> For, for finally winning one will never happen, but I promise you, I will never do what that guy did. I will never be cheap like that and try to get a win by putting in uncommon cards. Not because, like, it's a smart strategy on his part, but I would rather win with a deck that is, like, I worked hard to get, not not to win it cheaply. That's just the way I feel about things. Uh, I was gonna go into Exhibition, but I'd rather actually forget about this. I gotta scroll down, and I'm gonna go against some Seth Rollins for tonight's Hell in a Cell. I don't know who won yet because I'm filming this before Hell in a Cell starts, but let's uh, let's go get my plus five. But oh man, it's irking me so bad right now that oh, that it's happening to me on King of the Ring. But that uh, pretty much is a thorough way. All right, so we got our tag team. I will go with Ric Flair and Stardust. What a tag team that would be. Ric Flair and Stardust. Ric Flair and uh, Cody Rhodes. And I'm going up against two epics. Oh, man. That, that's not good for business, but... Hey. We, you know, you gotta get the epic cards to bring it. And I don't have them right now. We're gonna go with my Dean Ambrose. And there we go, we gotta win. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I was really hoping for a Divas match right now. <laughs> Cause I have an epic Nikki Bella. But I'll go with John Cena. Oh, versus a maxed pro Ryback. And uh oh, I guess we'll skip this one. Cause this isn't gonna work. Get it? Skip. Sheffield. Ryback. One, two, three, and all right, let's redeem ourselves in the next one. We'll pick out one card. Oh, I hear a match starting for Hell of a Cell. I think it's a pre-show match. So we'll pick one up quickly. Then I gotta get my booty in there and watch some Hell in Cell, guys. I'm so excited for this Hell in Cell. I can't wait to see the Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins match. Ah, oh, Santino, where have you been? Oh, he, um, he left, didn't he? He retired, but I still miss him. I do. All right, play for my super card. Um, let's go with Heyman guy. Come on, come on, give it to me, Heyman guy, and get it. A, a common AJ Lee is his card. All right, perfect. Here we go. Getting the win with my Nikki Bella. Thank you, Nikki. And then we're gonna go with. We'll use my Paul Heyman guy for my support with my Dean Ambrose. Ooh, wow. Versus an epic rock. Ooh. Whoa, man. Okay, he had a lot of charisma there. Uh, woo. And Stardust. Oh, man, they got epic cards. Like, it's nobody's... Where are you getting all these epic cards from, people? Damn. I need to play some more because I'm, I don't have epic cards like this. I have one, and it's Nikki Bella. I mean, she's pretty good, though. She gets me lots of wins the majority of the time, but... Man, I hate to end this video with, like, a loss, so I think we're gonna have to play one more time. Oh, zero points. I'm sorry, Dean. I'm doing you, I'm doing you dirty right now. Doing him so dirty. Look at my personal point zero, uh, three. Dirty right now. 
Oh man. And I'm missing a match right now, I hear it going on. It's alright, because I'm watching on the WWE Network and I can just fast forward! For $9.99. Alright. We're going... I'll go out of it. Go out of this, I'm going back into it. I gotta pick my guys. Alright, we'll go against you. I'm getting. I'm going for a plus one, because I, I, you gotta do what you gotta do for a win. Even though I want to go for the plus fives and plus threes and take my chances, sometimes that plus one is just what you need to get on that winning streak, you know? So I'll take it. There we go. Thank you, Dean. Tag team. Use my Paul Heyman guy support. Ooh. Ooh, they got pros, but... Yes! Finally gonna get my win for you guys. This is for you guys. Get one point. I'll start adding them up, no doubt. Thank you, Nikki. Waiting on network. Come on, I gotta pick my two cards and I'm good. Got you, plus one. You're welcome, Dean. Edit four. <laughs> Edit one more to my personal points for four. Oh, no. What did I do? Didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Waiting on network. Come on, let me pick. Let me go. Let her go. Let her go. Come on. Add a big E. Alright. Cool, guys. If you want, let me know your King of the Ring strategy. Um, do you play like that guy does? Or do you not? Let me know. Leave it down in the comment section below. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.